the whole world thinks that the Green Goblin is Spider-Man's main villain. I'm going to tell you that that's not true. Some people will think that Kraven the Hunter is Spider-Man's main villain as well. I'm telling you again, that's not true. And other people will think that Venom himself is Spider-Man's main villain, but that's not the case as well. Spider-Man's main villain is Sony. Every single Marvel project and movie that Sony has released have all failed. Every single one of them, either commercially, either financially, either at the box office, or in a lot of the cases, it's actually a mixture of all three, as we saw in Madam Web earlier this year and Morbius last year. Sony keep on producing flops that are centered around Spider-Man characters without inserting Spider-Man himself. Every single movie of the Sony Marvel Universe has failed because they keep on making movies that are supposed to be about Spider-Man, are supposed to be involving Peter Parker, but every villain that we see all debut or they all become who they are without Spider-Man's influence. And that is the same rhetoric that has spewed into Venom The Last Dance. Sure, their fight scenes are very great. Let me tell you the good things about the movie first. The fight scenes, in my opinion, are very crazy. There was one time when Venom was on a plane and Venom's main goal in this movie is to go to New York just so that he can see the Statue of Liberty with his symbiote. But that's actually gonna be not the case because they're gonna have a lot of bump on the roads due to the military and their main villain, Null. But let me not get to those two entities just yet. Let me just talk about Venom's goal going to New York because he's on this plane and then we now see the evil symbiotes that Null has sent to Venom. And on that plane, I ain't even gonna lie, the fight scene was very great. They were actually going crazy. They were very intense in my opinion and they were very creative. But that's kind of where I draw the line is their fight scenes. Their end fight scene was pretty good in my opinion when all the symbiotes rushed in. We see a lot of the supporting cast who were now infected with the symbiotes due to a lot of the scientists from the era 51 lab running away and trying to you know save themselves but it's too late these disgusting and evil creatures that null has sent to find and capture venom is proven to be overwhelming was very good in my opinion it was long it was kind of brutal there were a lot of crazy scenes and you know i had some fun time seeing the action scenes but what i did not have a fun time with was the story or you could probably say lack thereof because the whole story of this movie is venom needs to go to new york so that eddie and his symbiote can see the statue of liberty i repeated that just right now i said this earlier in the video then i'm gonna repeat another thing that i said earlier in the video and that is null has sent his symbiote army to find venom because together venom and eddie brock have this codex that if they are separated the codex doesn't work but once they're together the codex works and he wants to go and capture venom so that he can actually invade this universe and kill and destroy everything and everyone and another plot point is that the U.S. Army are also looking for Venom due to the events of Venom 2. That's literally what this whole movie is. Sure, there's a side plot with this family and they're pretty funny. They're a little bit quirky and they're trying to go to Area 51 to see aliens to finally prove to the world that they're aliens and the dad he's a very weird dude in my opinion i do believe that cps should have taken his kids and the mom's kids as well because they put these kids through danger when they went into the era 51 base at the end of the movie due to eddie brock's help because they see eddie when he's trying to go to new york as well so then they are actually on the same course so then because air 51 is kind of near their direction i forgot how they explained it so when they now dropped eddie off at las vegas they now go to air 51 and the family were put in danger because of the dad and the mom in my opinion they should not have kids but that's another plot point that they kept on like going back to sure their scenes were funny and their dad was pretty funny as well but i just felt that all these things that they were 
put in and add in and include in all these characters that they were including in my opinion that was just a cover up that they did not have any main plans for null they had null in this movie just sit down and talk and sit down and talk the main fights that we really saw between the main character and the antagonist was venom taking on his minions taking on his symbiotes like i know the director his intention of null right now is to save him for later but in my honest opinion they should have made Null fight Venom at the end of the movie and you know at the end of the movie the Venom symbiote died it sacrificed itself to save everyone they should have still did that but still had Null be the one to kill the Venom symbiote in my opinion just having him sitting down and doing nothing and talking and doing nothing and we barely even saw his face we barely even saw his height we barely even saw his design so i don't really know how he looks like and since i don't know how he looks like i can't think he's intimidating i can't think he's a force of nature i just know that he is just a messenger because he sent his people to do the heavy work to do the dirty work to do the heavy lifting to destroy venom and the movie ends there that's just how it ends venom the symbiote died eddie brock was basically separated because of the military and that's it no fight against venom no fight against null and i left the theater just thinking damn I kind of wasted my time in my opinion sure the fight scenes were great don't get me wrong this movie has a lot a lot of great fighting this movie has a lot of great fight sequences and a lot of great explosions and, and action sequences but that is just to cover up the lack of a main antagonist in this movie and that's why it's hurting this movie because it's 37 percent on rotten tomatoes 6.2 out of 10 on imdb and 42 percent on metacritic and before i end the video i just also want to say that i do not like eddie brock and venom's like whole character of being a thin without spider-man being involved in his origin and in his creation because Eddie Brock and Venom does not work without Spider-Man, specifically Peter Parker, because Eddie Brock is supposed to be hating Peter Parker. He's supposed to be his number one hater until he not eventually gets the symbiote that Peter actually originally had, or in other versions, Eddie gets the symbiote first, but still Peter Parker has to be Spider-Man's main foe. And that's the reason why this movie is so far failing commercially and we'll soon see in the box office if it might fail financially but that's the end of the video man that's what i think that sony needs to stop making these marvel movies they're destroying spider-man's image they're destroying spider-man's rogues galleries image and in my honest opinion they really hate spider-man by producing these movies as the end of the video i'm out peace